In business tonight, it is crucial that any level of corruption is rooted out in Barbados. Minister in the Ministry of Finance, Ryan Strawn, says this is important not only for the government, but businesses and, of course, future investments. He says the island's reputation took a hit in recent times, and this is why international organizations like the EU and the OECD keep putting some pressure on Barbados to make constant changes to its legislation. To the administration's defense, he made it clear that Barbados has always ensured that proper vetting measures have been put in place. And Mr. Strawn was speaking during debate on the money laundering and financing of terrorism prevention and control amendment bill 2019. No bank in Barbados, sir, has been fined or investigated by anybody, as far as I'm aware, for anything relating to terrorism financing. None of the companies that work or domicile in the Caribbean, sir, as far as I'm aware, have been linked to terrorism. But as I say, sir, I am prepared to be corrected if that is the case. Because, sir, we rely on performing due diligence in collaboration, sir, <coughs> with many of the, the tax authorities and the security agencies internationally, <coughs> sir, before we get into issuing licenses and these kinds of things to persons who seek to do business in this space, sir. Well, the search is on for a new Secretary General of the Caribbean Tourism Organization. Hugh Riley, who was appointed to the top post of the region's Tourism Development Agency in August 2009, has gone on pre-retirement leave ahead of his departure at the end of June this year. The organization's director of finance, Neil Walters, will act in the position until a successor is appointed. Now, the Secretary General is the public face and chief spokesperson of the CTO and provides the organization with visionary leadership, strong direction and clarity to its policy development. The holder of the post is responsible for implementing the vision of the organization based on the strategic direction set by the Council of Ministers and Commissioners of Tourism and the various CTO Board of Directors. And it's time now to take a look at how those stocks traded on selected exchanges across our region. In Jamaica, Barita Investments Limited was the volume leader with 225,658 units. In Trinidad and Tobago, Trinidad and Tobago NGL Limited was the volume leader with 46,895 shares changing hands, all for a value of $1,378,688. In and here in Barbados, Cave Shepherd and Company Limited was the volume leader, trading 10,150 shares at $4.35 each.